Hi, good morning guys. I am Dr. Sridhar Reddy Potala, Pioneer Advanced Air Transplant Center. Today we are talking about PRP injections. Uh, PRP actually means platelet-rich plasma, very useful for uh, uh, any tissue regeneration uh, that can be uh, injecting into damaged tissue, tendon, ligaments, even hair loss. So now we are talking about airfall hair loss treatment uh, modality by PRP injection. PRP is nothing but platelet rich plasma. There are many types of PRPs available. Um, plain PRP doesn't make much sense because you got only platelets in that. Whereas bio PRP is always very useful because bio PRP has a lot of ingredients that are already added in that. Multivitamins, amino acids and micronutrients. Multivitamins are very useful to grow your hair even amino acids because hair itself is a keratin matrix it is 80 to 90 percent of keratin protein this keratin protein build up by most of the amino acids So this PRP contains especially micronutrients, vitamins and amino acids along with broken platelets which has got natural growth factors. You are going to withdraw 8 ml or 9 ml of your venous blood and this blood is taken and transferred to the PRP tube which comes in a vacuum. That tube is transferred to a centrifuge machine. We centrifuge it. A centrifuge is nothing but uh, subjected to trauma. So when you centrifuge this PRP tube along with the blood, you get a uh, PRP layer separate and blood cell goes down. A PRP layer looks a little light yellowish color which contains broken platelets which has multivitamins in that and micro ingredients in that and growth factors of pla platelets also are there in that. So this combinedly the solution called as platelet rich plasma around approximately 4.5 ml you get out of 9 ml so this 4.5 ml platelets uh, platelet rich plasma we're going to take it out and we are going to inject in the affected area usually in the scalp this procedure can be finished in 20 minutes under local anesthesia so withdrawing a blood 8 to 9 ml and transferring to the tube and application of local anesthesia cream or injection to the scalp and centrifuge it after centrifuge, the light yellowish color of platelet rich plasma is taken into the small syringes and injected into the scalp. Usually, PRP uh, given uh, monthly once for three months minimum because hair cycle is three to four months. If you can support three to four months, the growth rate is very high. Later on, probably you can continue taking one every six months or every one year, very useful. So, uh, that's what the PRP works. I don't think you need 10-20 uh, uh, sessions, uh, maybe you need 3-4 usually enough uh, for uh, seeing any growth. So 80-90% to 90 of the patient will get benefit out of this. Yes, uh, this one is a PRP tube, it contains uh, micro ingredients and amino acids, multivitamins. 8 ml to 9 ml blood it will accommodate it is a vacuum tube we just put 8 ml blood taken from the patient and insert in this this tube goes for the centrifuge for eight minutes before that this have only gel and very clear uh, once we put the centrifuge i'll show you how it looks uh, now this prp tube is filled with uh, uh, around 9 ml of uh, venous blood now we are sending for centrifuge let us watch out of centrifuge how the PRP separates from now this is complete blood now blood cells goes down and PRP will come on the top that I'll show you this is the uh, PRP after centrifuge you can see this uh, uh, yellow uh, this is uh, plated rich plasma these are the blood cells gone down now this approximately 4 and a half ml out of 9 ml we're going to take it out and inject in the scalp so that's what the prp looks and platelets along with plasma shifted onto the top portion along with micronutrients this portion we're going to inject the scalp this is going to be discarded this is only disposable tube only once we can use it once we have used it we have to throw it use and throw tube at us uh, that's what the uh, prp tube looks like uh, 
usually uh, after PRP uh, you can get back to your work there is no precautions uh, like you cannot wash your hair you cannot uh, uh, go for uh, work usually after PRP immediately you can get back to your work immediately you can do hair wash no problem a few precautions like you have to have breakfast or lunch whatever it is do not come with empty stomach uh, for the PRP uh, you have to eat and come and do not have, have alcohol one day prior to the PRP these are the two instructions that you should follow otherwise you can use cap you can get back to work you can use helmet you can go and wash your hair immediately you can travel you can get back to the work immediately so no restrictions after the PRP uh, other than a few instructions like having breakfast and coming to the procedure and do not take alcohol and there is no other instructions uh, particularly after PRP so it is a common procedure you can just you can say OPD procedure you can get back to work immediately or home after the PRP injection So usually you take a monthly first month, second month, 30 days gap and third month. So three injections are necessary initially. Later on you can follow up, you can take it every six months and every one year once. Uh, that's what the difference between the bio PRP and uh, plain PRP. Uh, bio PRP always has more advantages uh, we have seen in our practice because we have been doing this almost uh, more than 10 years this prp is uh, definitely better than a, a plain prp so guys that's what about uh, prp injections and most of the people ask me is it painful no it is not at all painful even after the prp injection you don't have any pain nothing to worry about a pain issue at all you can take it you can immediately get back to your home that's simple as simple as that it is